Hi and welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we're going to have a look at the, the MN model D90 rock crawler. Obviously it looks very much like the Land Rover Defender. This has been sent out by Banggood, thank you very much for that, sending me out to review. It comes in three different colours, I'll leave a link below to where you can buy it and also the full product description. So as you can see it comes in yellow, green and I've got the red one behind the box here. So it comes in this box, it's 12 scale. It is quite a good size, so let's just have a look what you get in the box. So you get the Defender, the controller, a back so you can have it open back. You then get a 7.4 volt lithium ion battery and that is um, 500 milliamps. You get the charger. You get some spare accessories, so when you buy the truck, the windscreen wipers and these, anything that's got a black bit on, aren't fitted, you fit them yourself. Also you fit the back light units yourself and the number plate light, <laughs> the number plate light. So all they come in a separate bag and you get some spares. You get spare door handler, spare wiper, spare petrol cap and spare one of these. So, the only other thing you get in the box is this, so it's a sheet that tells you where to fit each part to. If you buy it in yellow, it also comes with stickers that say Camel Racing on and it's got some Defender logos. So, really nicely detailed truck. The doors do not open, but I should be able to show you by the camera. I hope, anyway, you can see inside what the dashboard looks like. Hope you can, hope that's picking that up okay. It is quite detailed inside, and obviously you can put the open back on here. It has a spare wheel, the nice wheels are nice and soft actually, so you get a spare and it is usable. It's not a pretend one, it's a proper thing. It has shock, shock absorber suspension, you can see the shock absorbers here. No leaf suspension on this, obviously independent. It's four wheel drive, runs through a 130 motor I believe it is, and front and rear differentials. It has non-proportional steering, which is the only thing I'll let you down, I'll show you that in a minute. And you can adjust your steering centre there. And then that's your server, well, your steering motor. It's extremely easy to swap the steering motor out to put a servo in, which is something I'll do shortly. And I'll also, I'm going to rig up some back lights, because there's no back lights, but there is front lights. It has got proportional throttle, which is nice. This is the spare back, so this just clips off, you just pull that off and then that clips obviously on layer like that, so you've just got the front covered and you've got an open back if you want to use it for trekking around stuff. It's got an opening bonnet and this is where the battery goes. So as you can see the battery bay is a lot bigger than the battery, which is a great thing, so you can possibility of putting a much bigger battery. I've tried in a 1500 one of these fits in the hole because I've got a few from different cars and boats. So you just need to change this plug end or make an adapter lead. So let's just connect the battery up when we're here. Just actually turn the switch off underneath. Okay, let's turn the transmitter on. The lights flash until you bind. Here is there you go. So it's nice bound there. The lights only come on when you're driving, if you notice. So it has got proportional throttle, as you can see. But the steering is very much kind of clicky clicky. So this runs on two AA batteries in the controller, and obviously the bat the, the battery that comes with the truck itself. It's a really nice little driver. It's got quite a bit of power actually. It's not like you, it's not like you'd imagine. It's not it is toy grade, but it's decent toy grade. And for the price I don't think you can go wrong. It actually has got a metal chassis, which is a nice feature on something this cheap. So it's not gonna smash in pieces on you. The suspension seems decent enough. I've played with it outside quite a few times now. I'll have some video footage coming up of it. You can see what it's like when it's driving, and you actually get used to the steering after a bit, it doesn't really bother you. 
So yeah, all in all, it's a really nice, really nice truck, decent for the money. And it does look the business, doesn't it? As I say, they also do this in green and yellow. You can check it out from the link that I put down below. So enjoy the video that's coming up of it driving and have a fantastic day.